Hello everyone and welcome back to Bloodborne. This is episode 5 where last time, my god, even more crazy, crazy things went down. Uh, we uh, completed the uh, Thumerian Chalice Dungeon and took on a couple of, couple of bosses. The old watchdog, uh, the, the watchdog of the old lords was a pain in my ass, but we did it. And at least we cleared our first Chalice Dungeon, I think. So there's like three tiers or something like that in uh, in each of them. So that's really cool uh, to figure out. And I did just actually want to say, I'll take this moment just so you get some idea of where we're at in the playthrough, uh, is my first episode of Bloodborne just went live on the channel. And guys, I am so, uh, so happy you guys are enjoying it and so grateful uh, for the for the positive, warm and loving reception and excitement surrounding the, the playthrough. So... Uh, as you know, I am keeping ahead, um, and I wanted to really, in those episodes that I had recorded before the series had went live, I just wanted you guys to see uh, what it is like for someone to go through this game uh, as blind as possible, and that unfortunately even means um, going, oh, I'm not going to read uh, messages um, failing to sort of, you know, see that there are actually messages in Bloodborne uh, put here by the developers that do have lore implications as well as useful tutorial information. Um, it's just like whenever I, it, like, it's it's funny because people go, you know, ah, how does he not know to check the messages for tutorials now? But the I actually have the opposite effect from playing the previous Dark Souls games is whenever I see a string of messages all together in the same spot, my first thought is this is a bunch of people who have left notes making funny jokes. Message ahead, message ahead, message ahead. Like, you know what I mean? So there's, there is that, uh, there is two ways to view uh, multiple messages being left on the ground is like, yeah, sure, you could go, oh yeah, these could be tutorial messages. Or my brain's going, it's a bunch of people leaving tips right at the beginning of the game as soon as you get into the hunter's dream you know what i mean uh but i have run through those things uh you know we've we've read the manual i've checked out um tutorial and lore tips but like like you have seen in previous episodes i've picked up and actually learnt these things as we've gone along in successive episodes so what's good about it is like if you do miss tutorial messages you're not completely screwed i figured out parrying with the guns when I noticed that when I was shooting an enemy I was like oh that's making them uh open up for a um for a strong attack so I was just like let's let's do that I think it's called a visceral attack in this game um which is uh what one of the messages one of the notes on the ground said uh you can do a charged attack from behind to stagger them uh to do a visceral attack so there are some things that would definitely help uh, and I am I'm glad that I've uh, I've gone through. So um, we have we have switched to offline mode as well. And I do want to just at least let you guys know why I was online. Is I thought that there would be invasions, and that was it. Like I was we went online yes to ignore online messages, but I did want to see if there would be some invasion aspects to it. So that's like a reason why I was like, I'll go online. Otherwise I would just play offline, you know? Uh, but we will just continue playing offline. So all any and all messages that I see on the ground, I can actually interact with because they are actually intended uh, to be read. Um, so just covering those bases is, uh, I did just want you guys to see uh, what a true blind experience is like, even sometimes to the point where I am putting myself at a disadvantage, um, not intentionally. Um, and I, I didn't communicate with, uh, I didn't communicate much with my mods either in those first few episodes for a, for a reason is I wanted to just jump into this game myself and not have to go, oh, what does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? I wanted to discover it and explore it for my sh for myself and share that with you guys you know what I mean like being like what the what the hell is insight where is this what is that and see if we could work together you know me playing and sharing it with you to discover it together you know I think that's much more fun than just me like asking a question or just having a bunch of information thrown at me of make sure you do all of these things to make sure that you are perfect straight away because I don't want that I want to learn over time have a beautiful journey and experience with you guys of being able to figure things out because I don't think I'm really 
incapable of learning things <laughs> you know sometimes it takes a bit of time sometimes it takes a bit of time like oh what the hell does the plus five on my bullets mean what what is that you know and i eventually was like oh right that's me that's the whole blood infused bullets thing and uh gaining insight is actually a good thing and um etc 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 you know what i mean so just a brief note at the beginning of the playthrough um to get that stuff out of the way that these messages can now be read so ascend to odin chapel is a message that's left right here and then this one all tucked away in the corner to escape this dreadful hunter's dream halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts lest the night carry on forever um so they, and then all of the messages down here are all just like tutorial related ones so you know got there eventually but hey a first playthrough is never supposed to be perfect, and people will always miss everything. Uh, I've actually had some people in the Discord tell me that they went the whole game without even knowing what parrying with the gun was. So, you know, everyone's certainly had some unique experiences uh, playing playing this game. And I've been having such a fun time, uh, like genuinely, and it means a lot uh, on the support of the first playthrough. So I hope you guys bear with me uh, in my learning experiences in the next few episodes to come. Obviously, uh, you would have already shouted at the screen many, many times to get to this point where I can talk to you and be like, hey, my playthrough is now live and I'm communicating with my, with my mods now. And uh, I just wanted to really just jump in on my own and like get stuck into it because I was very very excited um and sorry to ramble on let's uh let's continue with the game it'll be a long episode so you know um a longer introduction always means a longer episode right <laughs> let's have a talk to German who's having a nap oh Lawrence what's taking you so long I've grown too old for this of little use now, I'm afraid. Lawrence. Oh. What's taking you so long? Interesting. Buy with insight. Make trades with messengers using insight. Oh, acquire items. Oh, that's cool. We got clothes. Oh, boss, boss outfits. We can buy boss clothes with insight. Oh, that's cool. Okay. We do not have a small resonant bell yet. Obviously, this is online only, so it's not even relevant to us anymore. Small bell discovered in the old underground labyrinth. Its ring resonates across worlds, and the first hunter used it as a special signal to call hunters from other worlds to cross the gap and cooperate. This bell resonates with its counterpart, the beckoning bell, ring to help hunters in other worlds. A short ritual root chalice. One of the root chalices that breaks various seals in the old labyrinth. Oh. The glass chalice, when full, is used in a short ritual to quickly create and join a chalice dungeon. Short rituals are conducted at um, the makeshift altar. Interesting. I'll have to look into that one too. Because chalices are shared, I'm not sure if they're online only, if you need to be online to actually enter a chalice dungeon, or whether you can have like just single player versions. So we'll have to look into that at some point as well. We've got a bunch of clothes. We've got the Grey Wolf cap. The attire of the retired hunter, uh, Jura. Ah, oh, so this is the dude, okay, this is the, um, what is it, powder keg dude that was just shooting us with a giant Gatling gun. Um, God damn it. At attire of the retired hunter, Jura. This worn cap was the lone wolf's trademark. Jura is known through his contact with the powder kegs, the heretics of the workshop. He is said to have been both uncommonly kind and dreadfully foolish. Jura felt defeated by the state of old Yarnum and renounced his hunter's vows. Painted with ash in a ceremony to ward off blood. Okay, so Jura's clothes, and then we've got uh, Gascoin's cap. Hunter attire worn by Father Gascoin. Similar to hunter garb created at the workshop, only these are tainted by a pungent, beastly stench that eats away at Gascoin. Father is a title used for clerics in a foreign land, and there is no such rank in the healing church. 
the dingy scarf is a holy shawl and symbol of the healing church from which Gascoigne would eventually part ways. Similar to Hunter Garb created at the workshop, only these are tainted by a punch of melee stench. Cool. Can I compare? I need to compare my own stats to see how good these are to see if this is worth buying with inside or not. Uh, so that's like a comparison menu that I could pop up over the right hand side here would be good. Um, but that's okay. So 40. It's like physical defense. What's my current clothing like? Let's have a look. Oh, my current stuff is actually quite good. 30, 60, 50, 110. Yeah, the stuff that I've actually currently got is great. Cool, that's fine. But, buying items with insight. There you go. These guys have now been activated. Uh, we also activated the tree stump one down here, uh, which is for changing the appearance of our, of our messengers uh, as well. So we can still... Okay, we can still do stuff. That's cool. And then is this the makeshift one? So this is where we would put a short fruit chalice. Okay. I get it. Cool. There you go. Wonderful. Just a just a bit of a slow start today, guys. Just while we uh, you know get some necessary information out of the way, uh, and then we proceed. I've also decided because I remember that we have a personal effects bar. So I've decided to put my hand lantern and monocular on there along with some other things that I won't be needing to do in the heat of battle, you know. The antidote, yes, but also um, it's quick enough. It's quick enough to grab it from there. So I've got a I've got a Molotov cocktail and my bold hunter's mark in case I need to bail out of here. Um, I should get some more cocktails though because we're, we're almost out. Uh, but we need to ascend to Odin Chapel. That's one of the, you know, the last things that we were given to do. Um, so I'm sure that I'll need to have a look around this area some more. But what I am actually thinking I will take uh, this opportunity to do uh, is I would like to walk back around uh, some previous areas now that I'm a bit stronger. Do a little bit more uh, exploring to see if there's potentially anything that I have missed. Um, because... As much as like, as much as I do like walk through areas and you guys do see the, the effort that I do go into making sure I check as much as possible, I undoubtedly am going to miss a couple of things. I, that's why I do like to take the opportunities to, to go back and revisit areas um, when I'm also much stronger. It's, it's just like cool to do it that way. I, I like doing it that way. It's like, I'm like, cool, I'm stronger. The enemies will give me less of a hassle instead of like exploring an area 100% thoroughly when I'm in there for the first time, when I don't know how the enemies work, I'm lower leveled, and then like if I just keep dying, like it makes the back and forth of like running from a lamp and exploring a place uh, really tough and uh, and painful sometimes, you know? Um, oh wow, look at all these messages that are offline related. There you go. Look at that. I'm so glad that I've been told how to do the options menu. There you go. <laughs> Let's have a run up here and see if we can chat to uh, Yosefka. Oh, hello. You're all right. Very good. She's safe with me now. I presume you're to thank? I am. The treatment is going well. Stabilized, for the most part. Fascinating, really. Here you are, as promised. Ooh. Numbing mist. There you go. Because um, we did find another uh, woman behind a door who was like, "Hey, you know of a safe spot?" And we sent her here. Oh, thank goodness you came. Be a dear. Find me some more. <laughs> no, I trusted you, and now that laugh makes me not trust you. Why would you laugh like that? I, that was like an evil laugh. This is totally appearances can be deceiving, isn't it? She like sounds and like through the door seem like looks like she's like a just a nice old Yosefka. She gave me a blood vial. She's like, yeah, have this. And then there's a dude in Odin Chapel who looks like he would eat you. But maybe he's the nice one. I don't even know. Numbing mist. Through to create mist cloud. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Lloyd's talisman. 
Said to be used by the blood hunters of Kanehurst, its recipe is a secretly uh, is a secret closely guarded by the line of nobles inhabiting the castle. What a cool looking icon. Numbing mist. That's very cool. So when I I would have really loved using that when I went up against that uh, hunter in Old Yarnum. God damn it. <laughs> there may yet be humans out there. If you find them, send them to Yusefka's clinic. I endeavor to treat every survivor there is. So please, be a saint. Sefka's Clinic. Um, and also, I want to get into the habit, because we've got a bunch of this, which is the Madman's Knowledge. Uh, so I think I'm going to just... Fucking... I'm going to start using them, because we've been holding on to them for ages, and I'm pretty sure at this point... Insight is a good thing to have, especially if you can trade it for items. So we are just gonna We are just gonna just gain insight. <laughs> Everything that we were hanging on to, I'm just gonna chuck it on in. And now I am now I am more insightful. There may yet if you I endeavor so please be a saint. So we now have 30 insight that I can trade for items later, but I also can make good use of um, being more insightful. That's that's something that it's like, I've, you know, read read descriptions and it, and it talks about it, but also I'm, I feel like I've yet to discover, like, more of what that more of what that is all about. So, uh, figure that out as I as I go along. I must say, I'm actually uh, surprised with how many of these messages that I saw that I run past um, are actually developer-led messages that are literally all describing how to do things. And I was like, mm, nah, I don't need that. <laughs> but uh, I think keeping it in uh, offline mode definitely seems to be uh, beneficial as there are some messages that look to actually have uh, story-related, uh, lore-related stuff, as well as, you know, uh, I feel like that, that'll happen more and more as I get out of the, the beginning opening area uh, of, the, of the game. How did I miss that? See, sometimes you just miss something like right in front of you, really obvious, like a blood vial, you know. How do you miss that? Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, an opportunity to run around and explore a bit and see what else I can I can find around here now um, that I'm not just pushing past. I'm a little bit stronger, which is nice. So anything that I anything that I find that's going to be useful will certainly certainly include. But I'm uh, happy to take a look around a previous area now that I'm a bit stronger as well. And everyone's weaker. It's fun. Hearing like this, um. Oh, it's getting louder when I go up here. I'm hearing like a little jingle. Oh, there's a lantern here. Did I miss. Ah, oh, I must have not gone up this ladder. There's also a gate that I can open. I missed a whole thing. Because I've been in this area before and I've killed that enemy. Maybe I just. Why did I not go up this ladder? I, uh, I'm either completely blind to ladders. Ladders is, like, my recent curse now, instead of bonfires. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, god, that's so strange. I need to... Sometimes I need to go and go back and rewatch my own videos and just be like, what was I doing to not go up this ladder? Like, maybe this dude killed me and then I just never came back to this area? Hello. Who are you? I don't know your voice. But I know that smell. Are you a hunter? And I just threw a look for my mum. Daddy never came back from the hunt. And she went to find him. But now she's gone too. I'm all alone. I'm scared. Find girl's mother or refuse. Really? Oh, thank you. My mum wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music box. Tiny music box. 
It plays one of Daddy's favourite songs. And when Daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mum's so silly when I'm off without it. Dad forgets us. Hello, Mr Hunter. Still can't find my mum. Yes? OK. I can wait. Mum knows I'm really brave. And you're very kind. I won't be afraid. I'll be a good girl. I promise. A small music box received from a young Yarnum girl. A small music box received from a young Yarnum girl plays a song shared by her mother and father. Inside the lid is a small scrap of paper, perhaps an old message. Two names can be made out, however faintly. Viola and Gascoigne. Oh my god. When, uh, when Dad forgets them, they play the music. And I'm forgets them as in he turns into a beast because he turned into a beast in the boss fight and viola is the name of the mother oh, oh no we found that red brooch already it was in that arena and we used it didn't we because we got stuff out of it oh no we got a gemstone out of it didn't we I think we've, uh, well, you're not getting a brooch anytime soon, but we did find your mother, I guess, because that brooch was a lootable item. Hello. Um. Mum knows I'm really brave. I won't be afraid. We can use the, can we use this, because it's in the items thing. Unlimited use. Do I have to like hold it down to use it? Because I just put it away immediately. Oh no, it just does a little jingle. Okay. Now we can go this way. Oh, we're back here. Oh, I see where we are. Okay. That's a that's a very easy shortcut. Damn, we we completely missed that. I'm. That is that is painful. That's painful. It's a shame we didn't go up that ladder because we missed getting we missed getting that music box and maybe we could have played that in the boss fight, used it as an item to make him remember us. Maybe that's how you could get him when he goes beast mode. You can make him like revert back to being a human, uh, which is. Very interesting, actually. Um, and then, obviously, we would have known to get the blood vial. God damn it! Not the blood vial, sorry. The uh, the red brooch, and not you know end up using it. It's a shame. Mistakes do get made. That's just a very unfortunate one. But there you go. Okay, we got a music box. I guess I can go back to. I can go back to that boss arena. God damn it. And go back to that boss arena. And maybe revisit the air um, around there again. And then see if I can interact with something. Uh, maybe something uh, maybe something will change. I'm not sure what though, so I'll need to go and take a look. Um, so we'll head back over there. And then I'll, I'll see if I can maybe interact with an, like the body and then tell the girl what's happened. Otherwise, that is uh, it's very, uh, very unfortunate. Uh, we've got a fucking... We've got a hunter here now. Instead... Uh, okay. Let me get this... Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, I was supposed to heal. I got that. Oh, what the fuck? This what the fuck? There's two people there. What the hell is going on here? Okay. The plot thickens. Going back to this 
boss area now has two hunters. Uh, let me just, we'll just travel, I guess we can, am I even allowed to? Fast travel, I guess they would, if I fast travel to the lamp, uh, Tomb of Odin, not functioning at this time, I can't travel there. Oh, that's interesting. I, I should just go backwards from the Cathedral Ward then. You can't... So, if you can't travel to a lamp, that's because there's enemies nearby the lamp. That's very interesting. Huh. I just got wrecked, though. Right, I didn't know there was going to be a second one, so... Let's prepare for that. I needed to parry them and watch my goddamn health. Have a look. I came here looking for the body, a woman, and I've got uh, two hunters fighting each other. Hello, Tim. What are you guys doing? And who do I even who do I even go for? I don't even know who to who to go for here. Should I be on someone's side? I'm gonna go for the one that attacked me first. Oh no, I got killed again! I'm such an idiot! Oh my god. I can't even... Actually, there's not even a health bar for for the, that person who's getting absolutely wrecked. That was such an unfortunate time to jump into that attack. I was trying to protect the other one because I'm choosing to go for the one that attacked me first. I'm like, well, I need one of them to survive. So, god damn it. Right, let's just... <laughs> They're still fighting. For god's sake. Stop fighting and let me join. Well, it looks like like one of them attacked me. The other one has not attacked me as of yet. So I'm actually wondering if I am receiving assistance in this fight. Or if they're both going to attack me. Oh no, hang on. They both, they both do have a health bar. Oh, this is so hard to interact with. I just put the blood vial in, for God's sake. Okay. This is really, this is really bizarre. This is not something that I inspect, uh, expected at all. But we can, all right, we can, we can do this. They're just quite strong. We can do this. There's a goddamn hunter and a plague doctor. Hooded plague doctor. With the goddamn mask. Do we... Do we recognize... Do we recognize the one in the... In the Plague Doctor mask? Actually... Am I thinking of the... That woman that we met? The, uh... Oh God, he's so strong. The woman that we met that was saying that a hunter must hunt? Oh no, I'm attacking both of them. This is really, this is really painful. Oh, I just got fully left wide open for an attack there. Gotcha. Okay, you're not attacking me. We got the air. Good, okay. Are you, are you a hunter must hunt, lady? That wasn't necessary of you, but you have my I know. thanks. That's someone new. We made it with our lives. You're not bad at all. Is you this must Viola? Gas going as well then. 
He was falling apart. I'm sure it had to be done. But try oh, no. to keep your hands clean. A hunter should hunt beasts. Yeah, no, it is a hunter must hunt. Leave the hunting of hunters to me. Hunting of hunters. <laughs> Approval. Try to keep your hands clean. Leave the hunting of hunters to me. As soon as I was like, oh, wait, Plague Doctor looking mask. I think we saw that before. It's really hard to recognize characters in a brand new game. Because <laughs> um, especially when everyone kind of, all the hunters look the same. So when I saw this, I was like, wait a minute. Approval. We got a new emote. Let me uh, switch it with, uh, switch it with point forward, where's my proof? Okay. <laughs> Blood it goes back. That is, uh, that is really interesting. Who is this character's name? I need to, I need to go back and check my, did we get intro, did we get a name from this character? Cause that's the thing. I'm like trying to recall my memories of meeting, meeting her. Cause she gave us the shake off cape emo. Um, I don't think she's Viola though, because the brooch was up here for us to get on like a corpse. I think that's. You're another character. I need to go back to my episode uh, previously and see. Uh, okay, so she actually doesn't give us her name, so I don't know what this woman's name is uh, so she is now effectively known as the hunter because <laughs> of her accent um, but there you go so I, it's like they're in the fight they let us get a couple of hits in because it's kind of impossible not to but this is really interesting so we can actually encounter this character um, we can encounter the hunter actually in, in fights with other hunters which uh, I think is is very cool not what I came here for, however, but very interesting. Try to keep your hands clean. Leave the... Leave the hunting of hunters to me. But I think over here is where we got the, the brooch. Yeah, here's the body. No. Okay, well, the body's here. Yeah, that's definitely, because that's, you can see that that's, like, been recently. That's a recent kill. Damn it. So I think that, uh, because we used the brooch, we've, we've missed out on that opportunity, so that is, that is a shame. Um, I'm gonna head back, though. I'm gonna head back now that I've revisited the area. Again. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could have. Maybe I could play the music box, and something would happen in there. There's so many things. I'm like, do I? How do I test this? Um, let's. Oh, see, that was like in the. Was that a dialogue thing? It's just you sleeping, right? I must. What is? Fair. Usually, when there's like a uh, when there's there's no subtitles, but it still does the uh, the dark. Uh, background at the, at the at the bottom of the screen, like it when someone's like uh, sleeping, <laughs> it still does it. Like uh, German has that as well when he's having a nap, but then he also said some dialogue after. So if I go here, and I oh you're still here. If I play the music box. If I play the music box near the corpse, I don't think this is going to do anything, but there's no harm in at least trying. These are the moments where I wish that I was uh, even less observant to have not picked up this item, because then it would have served me well now. That's what multiple playthroughs are for. Uh, for. Yeah, no. Nah, okay, nothing. That's what multiple playthroughs are for. You discover stuff that you never thought that you would later on. It's just how it works, unfortunately. But that's okay. Uh, so, let's on, head on back to... Um, I'm trying to think of what the closest... What's the closest shortcut to take? 
Oh, I know which one to take. Uh, I'll take the Great Bridge. And then I'll just run through everybody. And we'll head back to her. Because if, if we've seen the body, we should at least be able to to tell her about the corpse. But I would not be surprised if the game is not going to let us do that. Because we don't have the actual brooch as an item anymore. Which is, which is such a shame. I need to get some... I'm actually seeing the... I'm, I'm seeing the drawback of my repeating pistol. Shooting two bullets at once is... Uh, I am... Oh god, I thought you would stop. I am definitely burning through them, you know? I am burning through the bullets quite quickly, so I, I think I might actually switch back to another pistol. Oh, wow, you are coming. Oh. You're just, you're just peeking around the corner there, but you're, Okay, you are coming. I'm surprised. Okay. Oh, and you're on your way here. Oh, and you... My blood vials I'm fine, but I need to save up on Quicksilver Bullets again, so I'm actually thinking it might be a good idea. Uh, it's just that it's so much more powerful. I guess, like, the thing is, do I need a more powerful gun when the gun can just be used as a parry tool? I don't know if maybe shooting two bullets makes them more susceptible to being parried than one? I, don't th I wouldn't think so. So I might actually switch back to the Hunter Pistol and level that up. Hunters. Damn. Oh, okay. Maybe Mum and Dad waiting for me to come. What do you think, Miss? Oh. Oh, cool. Because we, we didn't find us, so we can't tell her, but we can. Okay. Maybe they're waiting. Oh no. I'm so I'm so conf confused. Because all right, so when we sent the one woman to uh, Yosefka's clinic, she was like, oh, I'm treating her and she's doing and she's doing really well. Here, take this. And then Odin Chapel... I don't know. What's actually interesting, and this is something that gets me, by the way, is if we take them to Odin Chapel, we can actually interact with them and talk to them. If they go to Ioska's clinic, um, we can't. Because they're stuck behind that door and we can only talk to Yosefka. So, I'm, I am faced with a, a dilemma of which fucking one, which one is correct? Which one do we send her to? I don't necessarily trust Odin Chapel. Does she need to go to a clinic to get treated? I don't know. Does turning into a beast run in the family? But if she goes to Odin Chapel, I would be able to talk to her again. That's that's the this is the this is the conflict I have. Should I go against my gut feeling to take her tell her about Yosefka's clinic? Purely to see if I can get more dialogue. I what I might do is if people are unwell. Like, there's the dude with the cough, and he said, don't worry about me, that's a shame. Um, but, like, if there's people that are unwell, then I'll tell them about the clinic. But if there's people that are looking for a, a safe spot where, you know, people can pass through, maybe Odin Chapel could be a good idea. Odin Chapel's also close to where Gascoigne and Viola are. I'm going to tell her about Odin Chapel. I'm going to go against my gut feeling purely for the sake to see what will happen if we choose the option. I am uh, I'm going with my curi- I'm trying to indulge my curiosity to see if we can actually talk to her in person. So I'll tell her of Odin Chapel. And I hope I don't regret this. Yes, okay. Thank you, Mr. Hunter. I love you almost as much as Mum and Dad. And Granddad. And Granddad. 
You left out that little piece of information. Who's Granddad? Granddaddy Gascoigne. Gascoigne Senior. Thank you. I love you. Who's Granddad? Okay. Interesting. That did not work. See, maybe the repeating pistol, because it shoots two bullets, it might... Yep, yeah, that's not... That's not getting a parry. Hmm. Oh. I might have to commit to using the repeating pistol if I want it to actually get the parry off a bit more. I'll, I'll experiment with that a bit more to see if that's the case with some other enemies. So, like, let's... Let's experiment. Let's put the repeating pistol back on. And let's go to this dude here. And let's see if I can parry him with a bullet. Let's see if I can parry him with a bullet. I, sorry, I should say two bullets. Alright, come on. Yeah, that works straight away. Hmm. There you go. I might have to just keep using the repeating pistol. Or maybe it's just like you have to do a particular amount of damage. So I could upgrade the hunter's pistol to do more damage and therefore get the parry. Not particularly sure. Um, but repeating pistol will stay with us for now. I'm going to return to the hunter's dream. We can level up. I've leveled up a couple of times already while exploring just to make sure I spend my blood echoes and not use them. Very well, I'm not sure if we should be leveling up strength because I know that there's items that are going to recover it, but because of our class, obviously we have more points in skill. Both skill and strength level up our weapons, so I'm not sure. I've been putting points into vitality as well to make sure I'm pretty good. You might... I don't think arcane is something that we're focusing on. It's nothing that's really... I don't have an understanding of it yet, so maybe I'll put a point into strength because they might eventually come to a point where there'll be a weapon that will need both strength and skill to wield. We will see. I'll chuck one point in there Farewell, for now. Good hunt, mate. Now, ascending to Odin Chap, uh, I believe, should be our current objective based on what we were told previously and also there's the current note that's left there as well. Fortify this hunter pistol some more, though. We'll make sure that we level up just in case, because it, it will do more damage. So I'm still going to leave that door open to experiment with using the hunter pistol to see how that goes with parrying with more damage, but we'll see. So um, we've, I've explored around this place much more, uh, Yarnum and the Great Bridge. Um, to find more stuff. Glad I found the music box thing, so we found another NPC, so we should go to uh, Cathedral Ward and we should be able to see a new NPC, right? Correct? Yes? She's, she's going to now have to try and get along with the rude grandma. I suppose. Hello, old lady, have you seen a child? Have you seen a child around here? Yeah. But what purpose do you even serve? Um. Oh, actually, oh, maybe I'll just talk to this person. So be like, oh, you told this girl? Hello, girl. Oh. The hunt this year is a safe but Next, if you find any sankers there's nothing. Okay. I know I should be flapping upon someone if they seem work. Oh, and I'll do some. Si I know I'd be flapping. Oh. Well, I just told someone about this place. Have you seen them? What if they end up like dying on the way here?
Did I read this before? The Bergen West spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. Terrible shame, it makes my head shut up uncontrollably. Bergen West spider. Maybe there's a... Oh, you know what? Maybe they, it's not just a point of take her to the chapel or take her to the clinic. There might be another thing of like which path is safe of her to get to, but... I don't know. Both pathways are pretty goddamn unsafe. Uh, this takes us out. So there's this. Maybe I'll go this way. Was this door open before? There's so many things that when you revisit an area, you're like, was this... I don't th no, I haven't been here before. There's a chest. That door must have opened recently. <laughs> Old man in a wheelchair with a goddamn Gatling gun. Get out of here. For God's sake. <laughs> Fucking Gatling gun wheelchair, man. Oh my God. Hi. Communion. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Hold on. We found something. We found. We got an item from that hunter that we killed. Oh, they're carol runes. Ah, uh, and you can. Hang on. I can't use them. More blood echoes from V attacks and max vials held. Plus one. A carol rune that transcribes inhuman sounds. The air sees sentimentality in the warmth of blood and acknowledges visceral attacks as one of the darker hunter techniques. More blood echoes gained from visceral attacks. Perhaps the air is a hunter who bears the echoing will of those before him. Communion. A secret symbol left by Kirill, runesmith of Bergenworth. Several runes relate to blood, in including communion, which raises the maximum number of blood vials one may carry. This rune represents the healing church and its ministers. Blood ministration is, of course, the pursuit of communion. Um, maybe I need, to, I need to do something to be able to equip them. Maybe it's at the one of the things in the hunter's dream. Oh god. Well, this I guess this is where we're going, because now we need to ascend uh, Erden Chapel. So that's why this healing checks workshop. Okay. Now the place has opened up for us and there's fucking hunters everywhere. Away! Away! More ch a whole bunch more chests. Blood tinge ships. The whole transforming attack with the blade is very cool as well, by the way. It's a very interesting technique to use. Oh god! You there. Holy fuck. Well, I thought, oh, maybe because we told the that girl to come here that that door might have opened up and she'd be chilling up here. No. Surprise! Old man with a Gatling gun in the wheelchair. Oh, hello. Oh, why didn't that do anything? For God's sake. Oh God. I am I am confused, but we are rolling with it. We are ascending the chapel. Alright, there's a ladder here. Good to know. I think, um, down the bottom... Because I just rushed in here. Hold on. I got... I rushed in here because of... <laughs> flawless execution. He landed it. Just quickly run around here and we'll have a look. 
Where did that girl go? Oh, you there. No! Where did that girl go? I'm worried now because she didn't show up when we went here. So now I'm concerned that maybe she might not have survived the trip. Is this going to be like a goddamn grey rat situation from Dark Souls 3 where you can choose to send NPCs to a place or send them out and then they might not make the trip depending on what you've done? Because that's a, that's a bummer if so. I really hope not. I'm going to go against my gut feeling. And that was a terrible mistake. Oh, Lord, no. The sky and the cosmos are one. The choir. The choir is the name name convention of the sky and the cosmos being one. Okay. It's very pretty up here. Is that an it's a bit dark up the top there. So do, we, do we have an eclipse that's slowly starting over the sun? Oh my god. Oh! The fact that they just like laugh. Oh my god. As if they can't burn their friends. Oh, you're still alive. Of course you are. So many chests. Radiant Sword Hunter Badge. One of the badges crafted by the Healing Church, the Radiant Sword indicates the heirs to the will of Ludwig. These hunters, also known as Holy Blades, are what remains of an ancient line of heroes that date back to a very early age of honor and chivalry. Interesting. Came here looking for a child. Ended up finding a whole the whole new area. What? A whole new area of Erden Chapel. What do you mean locked? Oh no, hang on. Because I believe maybe the, the door that we first like we just went through before to go up that lift that was new, that was locked before and now it's opened up. What do we have to do to make the doors open? Why is it locked? God damn it. What if the more people you bring to Erden Chapel, the further you can progress to ascend it? Nah, that doesn't make sense. I don't think I don't think so. going that way as well. There's a whole other pathway out that way for us to go that I remember. That one slipped my mind briefly. So I can head back out to that big courtyard that we opened with the gate because we did the uh, the hunter the emblem to open that whole area up to signify the end of the hunt. chair? Where's this child? Maybe we could backtrack and we'll head out to... I'll head out to the graveyard. The tomb. Because maybe, I don't know, she stumbled upon her... Uh, maybe she stumbled upon her mother's body. And 
hunter is out there. Oh, it's very, it's very confusing um, and at times quite frustrating how um, From Software does their NPC quest lines because they are so strange, um, and it really is based on like um, some of them being really, really heavily observant or pure luck, and then other times just like you are like this is so obscure that I need to look it up how to do it, and there's a obviously that's not what we're doing in our first playthrough. I'm happy to do that in subsequent playthroughs, but um, that's kind of like a slightly unfortunate thing about um, NPC quest lines is you're just like where the hell is everyone and how do we do these quest lines and you just like send them to a place you're like well I wonder what that'll do hopefully that has no negative consequences <laughs> but you can never tell um, let me check out this memory altar thing because maybe this is the carol runes the workshop tool required for this task is missing. No, we still don't have a thing. So that's not going to happen. Um, Alright, I'm still not sure how we can slot carol runes, because we can't use them. I'm assuming... I don't know if their effect... I don't know if the effect is... Um, already activated because there's nothing there. Yeah, see, there's nothing over there with the carol runes. I don't know. I don't know. Confusion. Much confusion. Um, I just have to head up this way. Church of the Good Chalice. Head up this way. I, I don't know where that... Oh no, hang on. I've gone to the wrong place. I, I don't know where that... Um, I don't know where the child's gone. We need to go out this way and then up the stairs through the gate that we opened. I totally blanked on that. Maybe now the child will appear. Maybe I just needed to bounce around a little bit. I'm concerned that I would might end up finding a dead body. Maybe I should go back to where she was behind the window and see if that does anything. You would just expect, you know, you would just expect her to be here with the old old lady. She is not, because these this takes us out immediately. So does this. Alright, and then this is the summoning thing. We can summon Henriette. We did not... We are not doing that, but that means that there is a boss nearby. God. <laughs> that scythe is uh, that scythe is a bit of a beast, isn't it? I don't know how to get in that room where that item is as well. I guess maybe we'll have to go like around somewhere. Hello, bud. You've got my blood echoes. In Again, I'm going to fall into the same trap. That's what I need to do. I need to remember... How handy... How handy the old... Parry is. Oh, there's just a few enemies here, isn't there?
So I need to go up there. I wonder if we can parry... I think you'd probably be too big. You are too big. Confirmed. is I guess what they are meaning by ascending the chapel instead of the other place which is currently still locked which I thought might have been the ascending Erden chapel so maybe as we progress further oh god as so maybe as we progress further through uh, more of the actual chapel tower that may be down there somewhere. Uh, we'll actually open up more of those locked doors. Hello, you've got... Okay. Evil glowing... crucifix. Oh, Ooh, that causes frenzy. Uh, it's just going up. The bar is just going up. Oh god. Jesus. You know, watch that frenzy bar. Because this is the thing about, I'm pretty sure this is the negative part about having insight, is uh, the more insight you have, the less frenzy resistance you have. That was one hit. So that was, that was not, that was not good. I'm going to have to spend some of this insight on some uh, boss gear, some new clothes. Um, so I can at least still have some more resistance to frenzy, I guess, because we don't want to... We don't want to get caught in a scenario where I'm just going to get frenzied constantly. Uh, so I guess we're checking a pathway off to the side first, before we then go up the main stairs. We'll see where this takes us. Actually, I think from there we've we looked down and we saw this. We've see, I saw this from a distance. This area. You can get an item. Oh, there's an NPC lamp over there too. We can drop down here and get an item, I guess. Oh, there's a couple of lamps. Frenzied cold blood, okay. Couple of lamps. This person looks different. Oh, there's a, there's another one over there too. <laughs> so that's how we can make a backstab happen. You do the charged attack from behind. Ooh. Oh! Oh, you've got a rifle spear! I was wondering what the hell was going on there. Holy crap, that's actually amazing! No, come back. Oh, no, I was not supposed... Dude's got an electric mace thing! What the... Oh my god. Dude literally has an electric mace. Okay. This is what this is what's this is gonna be like. Okay, that's great. Good to know. Electric mace and a rifle spear. So that's what that does. I just wanted to talk to some NPCs down there, but I guess we'll we'll kill a couple of kill a couple of 
I like are they hunters as well? They're not dressed like the hunters that I've seen. I guess everyone's, you know, they've got different hunter fashions. I'm just gonna for the sake of making it easier on me, I'm assuming they're all hunters. Just of different you know different fashion choices. Interestingly enough, uh, summoning Henriette does not seem to be for a boss. Right, I'm going to just push past them here. Oh, right, because I jumped instead of dodging, for God's sake. Is there on the same... They're on the same button. It's like, I'll just dodge. Nope. Just jump. I don't know which one, which way is the best way to go for these guys, but I'm going to go this way again. Just need to not uh, aggro the one in the distance. You stay over here with me. Oh my god. Ah, I got stuck on a wall. I was stuck on the lantern. Can you get over here, dude? Please be coward. Dude. Stop. I need... I can't go over there because it's going to just trigger the other dude. Do something different. You can. Oh, my God. Oh, I see how that works. That's actually really. No. God. Dude, going up against like actual like hun other hunters and stuff is crazy. Oh, I'm out of bullets, holy crap. I need to Oh no. Just one of them. Oh my! Oh my days! What the, f dude? What? The way that uh, he's able to parry me in a way that, like, I am just not. He's so close. How did that not hit? How are you not dead? Dude, this is like a whole fucking saga of a fight. Just for me to... Just for me to get one of them down. So much health. There we go. Holy crap. That was just one of them. There's another one there. Alright, we've got some bullets. Let's talk to... The, let's talk to our NPCs. Places with blood. 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 Alright, you're in, are you? We're, we're getting into it. You got a shield as well, god damn it. I 
actually wonder if you'll be easier to deal with than the other one. I think you are. Not getting parried like I thought you would be, but sure. Alright, we're out of bullets. easier to deal with than the other one. Holy crap. Guns are very dangerous weapons. Bolt paper. Nice. So we can, you know, it's literally just the lightning equivalent of fire paper. That's cool. Alright, another NPC. Bless us with blood. Bless us with blood. Bless us with blood, innit? Bless us Okay, uh, so they, they just both say the same thing, that's good. Bless us with blood and go down there, but let me check this. Oh, well that's a useless well. We can keep going down. There's the birds on the roof. Doorway to this place? It's just the one that's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Interesting. Alright, let's go down here. Oh! It's you! A thing! dangerous. We don't have many bullets and we don't have uh, we don't have any bullets and I don't have many blood vials. Oh, and someone's shooting at me. What the f Okay, there you are. Can I jump down on you from up top? No. Great. Just to deal with there being someone who's going to be shooting me. Can I close this gap? Yes, I can. Oh, dude. That's just literally another one. Oh. Where's, where is it even safe to drop down from? Over here. Get, you get one out of here, at least. Oh. I can't shoot the repeating pistol when you only have one bullet. That's interesting. Fuck. Oh my god, I dodged right into it. That's so dumb. Lamps are a very scarce thing in this game, aren't they? Alright, let's go back there again. <laughs> I was just checking out uh, the Insight vendor, and we do have a new player added to the mix. So we've got Henrik's Hunter Clothes. So I'm assuming this is the dude that we fought with uh, with the Hunter um, in uh, in the graveyard. So Hunter's Hat born, born uh, by um, Henrik, the old Hunter. Attack to turn old Hunter Henrik was once partners with Farza Gascon, and though they were a fierce and gallant duo, their partnership led to Henrik's tragically long life. Henrik's unique yellow garb is resistant to bolt and will be of great help to any hunter who, who has inherited the onus of the hunt. So it's uh, resistant to bolt. Very interesting. Yeah, that reduction's very cool. Okay, well, that lightning... That lightning mace. We didn't really get hit by it, so that's fine. 
I might actually spend some insight to buy some clothes. I mean, we've got insight. It looks like we can buy stuff if we want. I think I might go for Gascon's clothes. Let's let's uh, buy his stuff. I'm not sure if I'll change the full sex. I kind of like our look, but I might change the uh, change the cap. I think we we picked up the black church outfit uh, last episode, or maybe even the episode before. I totally forgot to read it. Uh, which is attire um, of the healing church hunters. Most healing church hunters are elementary doctors who understand the importance of early prevention of the scourge achieved by disposing of victims and even potential victims before signs of sickness manifest themselves. Their black attire is synonymous with fear and that peculiar Yana madness. And that black church hat is actually better than Gascon stuff. A little more frenzy resistance on Gascon's cap, which I think would be, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd kind of expect that from him, wouldn't you? Considering what he did right in front of us. Uh, but the black church garb's pretty good. Yeah, we, we lose, we lose stuff if we want to wear this, you know. It does look pretty damn cool, doesn't it? It does look pretty damn cool. That's kind of like why I'm like, we could wear these. The gloves don't really make as much of a, of a difference. So that's really can be just wear what you want. Why not? Wear his full outfit. We're looking good. All right. Now I need to make my way uh, back to where I died before. I love, I love the outfits in this game. They're great. What a cool, what a cool details that's going on here. God damn it! He's got my blood echoes too. He got my blood echoes. I need them. You sir, give me back my items. Thank you. Oh my god damn it. Alright, where's this other where's this big dude at? You're all the way down there. Alright, I just need to Holy crap. I need to take this fight away from the dude with the gun. Oh there's another one right there! Oh my god. dude with the gun is making this so difficult for me. <laughs> There's a pathway off to the side here which I got <sighs> which I got distracted about when I was fighting uh, one of the oh no, right. When I was fighting one of the hunters. So maybe I can get the drop on that stupid dude with his gun. Oh, I've been kicked. Oh, that took, that just takes out so much health, man. Um, Yahagul, the unseen village. I got, I got killed by that dude, and here we are. This is literally oh no! I was gonna say this is literally Sen's fortress. When you wake up after getting killed by Seath, 
Not Sin's Fortress. Why did I just say Sin's Fortress? Uh, the Duke's Archives. Um, when Seath kills you for the first time and you wake up in jail. What the hell? At least they were kind enough to make sure I still had all of my gear before, when putting me in a cell. So, while I told you guys that we were like, okay, we'll, we'll go down on this pathway, uh, and then I was like, oh, fancy pathway up here. Let's kill this guy. No. Madmen toil surreptitiously in rituals to beckon the moon, uncover their secrets. Um, so I'm not sure. Oh, Jesus! I'm not sure if we're getting out of here anytime soon. The unseen village. This is the most confusing, um, yet fascinating Souls-like game that I have had the pleasure of playing. Dark Souls... Oh, okay, so we can go up or we can go down. Dark Souls, you know, had definitely had its fair share of moments, but like, oh, there's... There's just so much going on in this game, uh, like story, lore, and world-wise, that is uh, definitely flying over my head, which I'm trying my best to capture everything, but my god. Uh, someone's in here that need help. Hello? Church. You've come to save me. Oh, thank you, dear saint. I have no words to express my relief. You can take this at least. It's sure to please an upstanding member of the church like you. Oh, thank you so much, dear gods. Thank you so much. I was seized on the street by the hulking brute in the cathedral ward and locked up here. There were many others, but they've been taken away. And I've heard moans echoing in the distance ever since. So if you get killed by one of those type of enemies, you wake up here. Great. So the hunt is on tonight. And the streets are perilous, and every door will be shut tight. Perhaps it isn't my place to ask, but do you know somewhere that might take me in? Oh my god. Uh, if she's part of the healing church, or like she's recognized that, like, she's like, oh, you, healing church, lovely. Erden Chapel might be the better place for her. Oh, thank you so much. I'll set out as soon as I can. I pray for success on your hunt. Kind hunter. Having the having the choice of sending them to two safe places is killing me. Just give me give me a, a Majula and we're set. Majula, the best hub world. So nice. I'll set out as soon as I can. I pray for success on your hunt, kind hunter. I love Majula in Dark Souls too. Such a nice place. You can just sit there, you know, watch the waves crash up against the cliffside, listening to that beautiful music for a long time. Okay, we have sent someone else to Erden Chapel, which means there's a way out of here. Oh, like obviously there is, but. If she can get out of here to go to a chapel, we can get out of here to go to the same. Now, there's a doorway, and there's and a way up. Oh, hello. There you go. It's one of the things that stole me away. Oh, it's a whole bunch of them. What if I go this way first? 
I'm being chased, aren't I? Oh. Oh, I'm gonna have to hear that yell every time, am I? Good. Wonderful. Are you guys gonna attack me? No. Yep, yep, so you are gonna attack me. I was like, they're just like the other dude was just standing. I was like, is he are they just walking around me menacingly? No, they just don't have weapons, so they're going to kick me. Kick me with their their legs. Transforming attacks are so cool. Yeah. Kill him in two hits instead of three. Oh, hello. I'm, so I'm assuming they've put me in that. They've put me in that bag. Dragged me off in a sack. Nice. They are so strong. Holy crap. I've got my torch here, hold on. Damn it! I missed my opportunity. Do not swing your sack at me. What are you gonna do? Put me in jail again? Even like some of just like the enemies you come across are just like, you know, standard, not even standard, but like, you know, normal enemies really pack a punch. Case in point. God damn, rallying is very risky. Oh, the kick! Oh my god. Alright, what happens now? Because I don't have a lamp to go back to. God damn it. What happens now? I just start back in the cell? Yes. Start back in the cell, okay. God, this is so strange. How do I get out of... Oh, didn't mean to do that. How do I get out of the Unseen Village? Get off of me! Ooh! Did you just see how much blood came out of me just then? What the fuck? I was like, oh, it's literally just fucking spraying out of me. Well, God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> it's always, it's, uh, it's so, um, it's so hard when you're like set on navigating a different pathway and you die multiple times. Like, Come on, we can do this, we can get through here. And then that just gets completely derailed because now I have to explore. A whole new area that I was not expecting to. Do not grab me. I, I do not accept. Right, look, my all my blood echoes in this in this guy. Ooh, Actually, be able to get the attack and actually be able to parry these. Oh, not both of you together. Why?
they do so much damage. They do so much damage. <laughs> Oh, it's a, it's a goddamn kick, dude. Didn't mean to jump. Damn kick move! Okay, and that was just one of them. God damn it. Alright, now we've got another one in here. Ooh, this table cannot get destroyed. That table does not get destroyed. Oh! The one time it actually works! No! For God's sake! I didn't expect it to actually get the parry. Ooh, these fucking kidnapping assholes. I'm sick of them. Of times these like f like enemies survive with one hit is insane. Like they have no their health bars are empty. Just 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 kill them. Just kill them. Every time you think you might secure victory, they whip out some bullshit. Fight them both together at the same time. One's easy. You know, two's the real challenge. God damn, the fucking columns and the gates in the way, and like the fighting against the camera here. Camera going through the gates is just. It's just getting my nerves to the point of insanity now. Hey. Woo! So exciting, so happy. Can I just. What if I just let. Can I just let you be? I just like leave you alone. This is a trap. Oh no, there's a hole in the wall. And then there's a door through here. Which is just, you know, the other way to that fight, like, so that doesn't really do much. Just woke up these guys then. Come in here so I can lure you around, please. Been here so long, my weapon is going to actually break. <laughs> there you go back to Hunter's Dream so I can fix everything. I still need to make sure that I actually go up the spiral staircase as well. Uh, that we came from. We made it out. It's a drop that I don't know if we can come back from. Wonderful. I'm going to go up the spiral staircase first. This might be our prison break then. It's probably our way out. You know, hole in the wall. It's generally what that means. Assuming that's going to be our prison break. 
Ooh. I picked up, um, I killed an enemy, that just reminded me, I killed an enemy before, uh, just on my way through, so instead of getting a pebble from them, I finally got something new. So I got a bloodshot eyeball, so I've got two of those now, so a material used in a holy chalice ritual. An exquisite eyeball removed quickly after death, or perhaps even before, used to unlock the seal of the old labyrinth hinter tombs. So we got some, we got a literal eye in a jar. Because why not? Like, why wouldn't you want an eye in a jar? And, oh my god, if you thought that fighting those kidnappers... Oh my god, there's a lamp here. <gasps> I can actually go back to the Hunter's Dream, holy shit. Okay. I can just leave from here? Whoa. Oh, whoa. Hoping that this kidnapper dude doesn't come up here should leave me alone because it's at the lamp. What the fuck? That's uh that's messed up. We can go back to the hunter's dream from here, that's cool. Look at those assholes. Protecting an item in the middle. <coughs> Out of the middle, so I can get the get that item. It's this way. This way also takes me outside. Uh, footsteps, giant footsteps. What the hell? What the hell is? Oh, hello. Oh no, here. Hello, giant pig. Oh my god. Jesus. Hefty blind shot. It's even got, they literally bothered to give it a butthole. It literally has a butthole. Is that entirely necessary? What the fuck? Was it necessary to give it a butthole? Come on. <laughs> I thought it was gonna get crushed. Okay. Goodbye, giant exploding pig. Thank you. What is this? Behold! A pale blood sky! I'll turn up the music a bit. Uh, I don't want it to be too much where it just like fucking hammers everything, but. The music that's playing right now is amazing. Wow, guys, look at these gorgeously rendered environments. Whoa, ah, oh, it rendered as I zoomed in. Never mind. <laughs> oh, yep. Pale blood sky. Oh, god damn it. Not dogs in this area as well. And they've Beast. Oh no, I'm done. I've got um I'm traumatized. Leave me alone. Where the hell are we? Oh no, it's another pig. Ah! Oh, you're in the you're in the wagon. You've become one with the wagon. Oh, paper. Ooh, actually, you know that might. I wonder if that that might actually come in handy. Fire paper and bolt paper. 
Let's try to use some bolt paper because we actually got a decent amount. you've got fucking poison gas. You stay in that wagon, sir. You belong in there now. There you go, I freed you from your wagon torment. Oh my god. Oh no. This is, li this place is literally my nightmare. Ridiculously, ridiculously strong enemies. Mixed with vicious dogs. They have the most erratic and ridiculous, the most erratic and ridiculous attack patterns I've ever seen. They're just like, I'm fucking sick of this shit. <laughs> Mmm, Bloodborne. Bloodborne. They're like, let's throw all of the really annoying enemies at them. Oh my god. Alright, well, we have a lamp at least. Jesus. Ooh, we got a rune. There you go. What kind of fucking chump decided to have jump and roll and sprint all on the same fucking button? Holy shit. I can't believe that that was a one hit kill. Am I more vulnerable when I'm in, in midair or something? <sighs> Fuck you. I don't need these blood echoes. All zero of them. Who made this game? I'm filing a complaint. <laughs> I'm filing a complaint! A complaint that this game's too easy. Give me more of a challenge. Have every single enemy kill me in one hit. Bloodborne, more like blood boil. Because this game is a fucking... Annoying piece of shit, <laughs> and I hate it. <laughs> Not really. I genuinely love this game so much, and that's the problem. The goddamn pigs respawn. Every enemy. What, what are you guys protecting, huh? I'm going down here. I'm going down here. What are you guys protecting down here? Lamps. I don't know what that means. Can you get fucked? Don't come down here. Let me alone. Let me interact with the stupid NPC. Thank you. Oh, it's a door. Oh, it's a shortcut. Fuck you. That's this door. Okay. It's cool, I guess. I mean, it's not... It's not one of the most useful... It's not one of the most useful... Um, shortcuts we've ever opened. It's actually a little bit useless, but that's fine, I guess. This music, though, is insane. I'm afraid it might be drowning me out just slightly, so I'm going to take that down to an 8. I'm going to get away from this dude. Okay, so we can go down here. Over there. Oh, pig there. Dude, this place is massive. I'm lost because I've just been kidnapped. Placed in an environment that I have... Uh, that I'm definitely not familiar with. And I'm trying to just get the get back to where I was, and I don't even know where that is anymore. And I'm trying to do that without just resorting back to the hunter's dream, you know, because um, 
I do want to also explore a new area, but it's it's insanely challenging. It's I am suffering. I will have I think this uh, like judging by how early we are into the playthrough and how much I keep dying, I'm very confident that Bloodborne will probably end up being the playthrough with the most deaths. That's for sure. So we can keep going down that way if we want. Let's fucking go. Fuck you. Just when you think that they might leave you alone, I would like to tell you that that's not going to happen. Oh yeah, and then you're going to stand there and just bark at me. Come on. I love dogs. Why does FromSoft make me want to hate dogs so much? What do they got against dogs, huh? What do you guys even... Pr uh. Yo. Just need to get them away from. Just need to get them away from the item so I can pick it up and then leave. So I want nothing to do with these enemies. Oh, why does the dog have to stand guard? Tenitris. Nice. That's just what I needed. A random item that I will have a look at and read the description of in a second. And clench my butthole battling these dogs. <sighs> okay, what did we just get? <laughs> my butthole, man, it's tight. Because of these fucking dogs. Oh, it's a weapon. It looks like a plunger. A unique trick weapon contrived by Archibald, the infamous ex eccentric of the Healing Church workshop. Workshop. Striking this peculiar iron morning star flail like a match generates the same blue sparks that blanket a dark beast. Unfortunately, for reasons untold, the hunters of Archibald's time did not fully take to the device. Ooh, I can't equip it because I don't have enough strength. Can't even play around with it yet. Well, there you go. Oh, God. Hello, pig. Wake up! Dodge the dodge the goddamn pig. Don't let it eat you. I haven't even found a boss, dude. Like this is just this is a train wreck. You know this is what I would consider to be absolute shambles. You know, it is in absolute shambles. This is a whole area, this is a whole pathway, a whole goddamn thing going on in this place. Can you stop? Leave me alone! You're loud, you're annoying, uh, you're obnoxious. Get out of here. Oh! It's, it's this thing. It's so strong! What the hell? I am not... Am I supposed to be here? I genuinely think I am just not even supposed to be here. This thing should not be this strong, right? That's insane! <laughs> what the fuck? And guys, before... Just to clear up a misconception, just in case uh, you guys are going to go... Oh, 
my apocalypse was really grumpy this episode. I am having a great time. I love this game. I have a right to complain when I die a million times. Allow me to be a human being, please. <laughs> I'm not grumpy uh, for any reason other than dying constantly is a little bit of a painful thing. I'm sure you can all relate. I'm sure you can all relate, but it is all in the good fun of a FromSoft experience. Isn't that right? That's why, that's why we're all here, to join in jolly suffering. So, cool your jets, because I'm working on cooling my jets. I just need to figure out where my stupid blood echoes went. Any of these dogs got my blood echoes? Oh no, maybe it's the pig. Alright, good. The pig does not have them. <laughs> that pig was uh, much faster than I was anticipating. I thought that it would just charge off in another direction, but no, it totally just ran me over. I'm getting steamrolled by this game right now. Well, I don't need to go back that way anymore because my blood echoes are, are gone. So that's fine. Oh, there's a law note right here that I missed. Nightmarish rituals. Crave a newborn. Find one and silence its harrowing cry. What the fuck? Bloodborne's asking me to kill a baby. Bloodborne said, hey guys, want to kill a baby? Now you can. Alright, now I'm going down this way. Alright, motherfucker. You charge me. Thank you. Hmm. How do I get... Can I just grab it? Search body. Ooh. Yargle clothes. Nice. I can take these dogs off. just such an unbearably large amount of health. Madman's knowledge. It's madman's knowledge. It's madman's knowledge. Okay, all of you, madmen, open the gate. Of course, it's closed. Why would the gate be open? Like, what kind of person do you take me for? Guy who can open gates? We can go up there, maybe. Let's have a look at these clothes that we picked up. We picked up uh, the black hooded iron helm. Uh, oh, hang on, that pig's fucking 
walking on down. I'll hide behind the wagon. You can't see me because I am a part of the wagon now. Perfect. Um, the hunters of Yahagul answer to the village's uh, founders, the school of Mensis. Hunters in name only, these kidnappers wear their black hoods low to shadow their eyes. This helm is made of metal, a rarity for hunter garb, and has high defense, but only against physical attacks. Oh, it's that. It's that helmet. Oh, that's so cool. We faced off against some guys with this helmet. Uh, the black garb, thick black pullover worn by hunters of the Unseen Village. The hunters of Yahagul answer to the village's founders, the School of Mensis. These kidnappers blend into the night wearing this attire, designed primarily to defend from physical attacks. The binding of thick rope serves to both to protect its wearer and restrain his foes. I'll take you up on this offer. This looks like a good set to wear. Nice! Dude, the, the outfits that we find just get better and better. They're so cool. I got a bunch of cold blood so I can make up for all of those blood echoes that I lost. Because I lost many. Uh, that door is closed, so I'm guessing we need to do something to make that door open. Oh boy. Just need to get the hell out of here. Oh! Oh, I actually thought that I successfully dodged there for a second. How naive of me to think that I, Apocalypse, could successfully dodge a pig. That's out of my that's out of my job criteria. That doesn't that doesn't work for me. How's your day going? Mine is a constant vicious cycle of death. But I do look pretty now. Fuck yeah. There's a whole there's a path up there as well. Like oh my god. So we're gonna be we're definitely revisiting this area because there's stuff to do. Um, but I think we've we've picked up our items. We've we've done that sort of nonsense. Uh, we can break out of here apparently. Do not grab me. Do not grab me. I am escaping. We are leaving. Goodbye, everybody. It's been a pleasure knowing you and dying to you many many times. But I am leaving. We're going this way now, and I will return another time. Oh, there's a summon. Defector Antal. Defector Antal. This is the second time I've seen a summon symbol, but I'm like, I was expecting a boss when we could have summoned the uh, the person before. Uh, but they didn't even... I ended up getting kidnapped, so we were never able to see that one through. Oh, hello. Dark Beast Paul! Oh my god. Okay. 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 Just a just a dark beast, you know, no biggie. You ever versed a dark beast before? Yeah, every single fucking day of my life. Lightning beast thing. Um haha. <laughs> Okay, well, we found a boss. So that summon sign actually relates to... There we go. There we go. The summon sign actually relates to a to a boss. That's that's good. That's good. I like that. All right. We, we have found ourselves a boss. Now, you thought I was dying a lot before. Just wait until... Uh, I went the wrong way. Just wait until I fight off against whatever the hell this thing is. Uh, there was a lore item. Why did I stab myself with that? Press the wrong button. There was a lore item that we just got. That was in regard to, Yeah, here we go. The blue sparks that are said to surround dark beasts. Wonderful. That's, that's good. Let's go fight a dark beast, that sounds fun. Where does the fog wall come in? Because now do we have to enter a fog wall? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Do 
just a floating fog wall. Okay. <sighs> I've only got one bullet, so we're not shooting this thing. Where do I hit the- oh my god, that's so much health, what the fuck? Do you ever get the feeling that you're not supposed to be here? I, can I cannot, I just, I cannot see, dude. I cannot fucking see. What? Again? I... What the fuck is going on? I, th I think I've just stumbled into a, a, a literal nightmare that I can't wake up from. I'm not killing that thing. No, no not currently. Not with what I'm rocking. Not with one bullet and 78 damage, I'm not killing that thing. That's insane. I think I need to go back to the Hunter's Dream. I just need to leave. I think I I think I need to just get the hell out of here. Get me out of here. Someone tell me what the hell just I've just been subjecting myself to for 5,000 years. I've lost life off of my uh, uh, life expectancy, dude. I mean, I got some cool clothes from it, though, but my god. Can anyone tell me what I just witnessed? Ah, I'm what it... Over time, so it... Yeah, no, okay. Gammon. Oh, the ascend to the old ch the chapel note has disappeared. Oh, no, Gammon's not here either. Gammon, I need help. Nobody's telling me nothing. Bloodborne is a very confusing game. Thank God. I can't go back. I can't go back. What the fuck? Maybe I have to get killed by another one of those things to go there. Because look, I can't go back. This game is so bizarre, dude. This game is bizarre. All we wanted to do was find an NPC and then we just ended up getting sucked into a completely different... We ended up going to jail, dude. Oh, we did send an NPC here, didn't we? Another one. Are we going to be able to see them? I swear to God. I... I'll check some other rooms. Oh, you. Thank you. So that holy woman, you told her about this place, right? Well, she don't offer me much in the way of conversation, but still, I'd rather see her alive anyhow. If you find it simple. Huh. He didn't mention anything about the girl that we sent here, which means uh, she didn't make it. She is somewhere else. We have to find her or she died on her way here. So that's fucked. Where is this girl? This guy has acknowledged that she's here. She don't offer much in the way of conversation. Where is she? Because as soon as we go out here, there's enemies. So they're not going to be chilling out here. This is a lift that just takes us up to more enemies. Where the hell are the people that we're sending to the chapel? You, Gatling Gun Man. Oh, yeah. huh. I guess we'll look outside the surrounding areas.
But there's enemies here, so I don't know. Oh my god, it's another one of those things! Alright, there you go. If I want to get killed, I know where to look. If I want to go back to that Yargul, I'm just trying to look for NPCs, dude. This is a disaster. Where is she? Well, I'm not I'm not killing that dark beast at this current point in time. I'm not I'm not strong enough for that. I'm gonna go this way. Where this summon sign is, so I feel like there's gotta be a boss around here somewhere, but obviously I've because I've run off to the path to the side and gotten distracted, that's probably why. Like, if I go through these doors, it's probably a boss. There's a pathway off to the left here as well. Oh, at least this is just an item, so this doesn't look like it's a... Oh, no, never mind. It's literally a, another area. Great. Here I am thinking, oh, pathways off to the side won't be, uh, you know, crazy. They'll be pretty tame. You know, you go off, you find some items, then you walk back through the main doors. I've been on a goddamn... You know, this is literally, you know, the meme of Rick going in and out, 20 minute adventure. I'm like, dude, what the hell is going on? Alright, I'm stuck. Where are we going now? Oh, there's dogs. Nah, there's dogs. <laughs> I'm out. I quit. For God's sake, everywhere I go, I'm followed by beasts. What the hell's going on over there? Oi oi, what's all this then? What are you fucking getting up to? Oh my god. That's what you're getting up to then. Alright, as you were, I'll leave you be, sirs. Kind sirs, have a good night. Top of the morning to you. Have a good hunt tonight, shall ya? This game, I'm slowly losing my grip on reality, I think. Uh, I think I'm actually going insane I think that's I think that's a very big possibility look old woman yeah where's the other people like why is it you oh you're right there you're hidden in the dark hello oh brave hunter you're alive hello thank you very much church bow female the town is in disarray but there are still people here. Together we await the help of the healing church. I cannot begin to express my gratitude to you. The only thing that I can offer is my own lowly blood. If it would suffice. Receive blood treatment? Yes, of course. Come in close. Now. Take my blood. Romantic. Blood of Adela. Brave hunter. Please, give me a little more time. There are others in need of my blood. Alright. Restores HP and continues to restore HP for a short time. Blood taken from Adela, none of the Healing Church, restores an amount of HP, then continues to gradually restore HP for a short time. The Healing Church nuns are chosen for their merit as vessels for blood and groomed as blood saints. The mere chance of being treated with their blood lends legitimacy to the Healing Church and Communion. I haven't used either of these uh, blood vials yet because they're finite. Out of them. So it looks like there's chances to get kidnapped. Oh, actually, where is it now? It's not there now. Okay. There was or is potentially chances to get kidnapped by enemies, but they're not always there. And I guess if I want to revisit Yargul and take on a fucking dark beast, um, I've got 
good opportunity to do so. Alright, I'm going into the doors. Going into the doors. It's been long enough, and both pathways off to the left and right both go somewhere else entirely. They're not they're not tiny areas at all. It's literally a brand new area. So we're just gonna run th whoa. Just gonna run through and admire the creepy decor. Oh, this is good. I like this. Hello. Someone's praying. We should have done this so long ago. We got so sidetracked and kidnapped and oh my god. Went on a roundabout journey. What a nice woman. Uh, okay. Magic locket turns you into a beast. Uh, wouldn't want to be you. Oh, no, you're a... Ooh, that's so bizarre. You're like a wolf beast with antlers. What the hell's going on there? Uh, Vicar Amelia. Alright, please tell me I can actually do damage to you on, like, the dark beast. That's holy crap. Dude. Oh my god, I actually can still barely do any damage. I'm just at a point in the game where I just suck. Everything is so strong, dude. Holy fuck. <laughs> okay. Good dog. I don't get... I just really can't catch a break, can I? It's literally like Dark Beast, Wolf Beast... Blood-starved beast! I really liked Father Gascoigne because it was such an interesting fight. Oh! And then turned into a beast afterwards. What the hell? Oh, this music, dude, is insane! I'm, I'm, my character must be just immensely weak. I'm so weak. I should not be, like, at this point in time, I'm, like, after, you know, I like to think I've got some idea of, like, what the hell is, goes on in a Souls game now of how much damage I should do, and that's nothing. That's, like, me in Dark Souls 1 with the goddamn S-Dock just poking everything. What the? I'm, I'm really weak. I thought I was, l like, leveling up pretty, pretty standard, but my weapon is not doing much. I'm gonna, I'm going to pop some of these, uh, this cold dew that I've picked up, so we can level up this weapon, because I think we have actually picked up some twin, twin blood shards now? So I should be able to level up the cleaver. Yeah, I've got twin bloodstone shards, so we can level it up some more. I just need some blood echoes, and that's fine. Oh, I do need to repair my weapons as well, don't I? Because durability is at 41 out of 200. Okay. Mine's me. Perfect. Reinforce it twice. That's good. Saw cleaver plus five. Wonderful. Now let's see if I'm able to actually level up as well while I'm here. Cash in these. All the I'm like I'm really feeling for all those blood echoes that I lost um, in Yagul because that was just that was just insane.
welcome, Odin. Very well, then. Um, I would say we just start putting some more points into strength, I think. I need to be stronger. Because oh, well, I am... I am suffering. <laughs> I might sell some stuff so I can... What have I got that's even worth selling? Not much, to be honest. God damn. Yeah, I am... I'm just getting absolutely eviscerated. Hopefully that's going to do a little bit more damage. So let's take on Vicar Amelia once again. Let's see. Let's see how we can do. I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this some goes. <laughs> but like... I'm getting... I'm getting my shit rocked so easily right now. I just realized as well... Henrik's outfit. We're gonna want that for when we uh, for when we go back to Yagul because of that bolt resistance. That's probably gonna be like absolutely um, absolutely necessary. I would say <laughs> we're gonna need that bolt resistance when we're literally doing nothing but getting absolutely beaten to death. I'm going to pop some fire paper for this fight as well because given that this woman has transformed herself into a beast should probably be able to get some damage out of that. So the Molotov cocktails will probably help. We don't have any oil urns. I could probably buy them but I'm going to see how I go. I can also uh, buy some uh, fire paper for insight in the dream as well. So I'll have to I'll have to have a look. Interesting that the summon sign is down here. Okay. Dude, the jump button. Like fuck my life. I honestly think that's such a stupid mistake. The jump button! I miss jumping with my left trigger. Okay, fuck all, there you go. Beep! 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 Let's go, lady. Ready? You? That's much better. Getting hit on the back is such a nightmare. God damn. How the hell did that Molotov not hit? It's such a huge target. <laughs> what? Here, you. Eat this. Thank you. Holy crap. Music is so good. Holy crap. My fire paper's already run out. Holy crap. That was quick. I just got totally stun locked. I couldn't even move there. It was just like smack, 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 smack. I could not even move out of that if I tried. And I was trying. We got him close though. I'm gonna need to get some fire paper now because that's literally how I am. I need to win. <laughs> Alright, 
Alright, so I've bought some more stuff, which is going to help me for this fight, which is good, but I just noticed we have some new stuff in here, by the way. We have Ludwig's Holy Blade, uh, a trick weapon typically used by healing church hunters. It is said that the Silver Sword was employed by Ludwig, the first hunter of the church. When transformed, it combines with its sheath to form a great sword. How cool is that? The healing church workshop began with Ludwig and departed from old German's techniques. To provide hunters with a means to hunt more terrifying beasts, and perhaps things still worse. Departed from old, uh, Germans... ...techniques. Uh, that's wild. Okay, Ludwig's rifle. It is said that this rifle was employed by Ludwig, the first hunter of the church. Its long, heavy barrel makes up in range for what it lacks in reload speed. The healing church workshop began with Ludwig, departed from old Germans' techniques. And we've also got the Tomb Prospector outfit which we uh, summoned him briefly in the Labyrinth. So the attire of tomb prospectors who explore the old Labyrinth on behalf of the Healing Church. The Healing Church traces its roots to Bergenworth and is therefore aware of the ruins' true importance. They contain much more than mere hunter trinkets indeed. They hide the very secrets of the old Great Ones sought after by those with the insight to imagine greatness. Interesting. So we got some new stuff in there. I am going to put uh, fire paper in here specifically for this fight as well as an oil urn. Uh, so I've picked up some oil urns as well. I'm going to burn this goddamn beast so I can call it a day. <laughs> oh my god. So fire paper, throw the urn on her. I bought a backup one in case this one misses. Hopefully it shouldn't miss. I mean, it's a pretty huge target area. Uh, and then... Uh, and then... We'll see. See how much damage we can do. I know it's going to take a little bit of time. But we will be good. And then... We'll take on Dark Beast. We'll take on that Dark Beast another day. I've got some bolt resistance, so that'll help. Bolt resistance will definitely help. Stop jumping. I don't know what the significance of these statues are. These creepy looking things holding spears. Alright. Vicar Amelia, I've come for you. been oiled. Oh, that's... Oh, I could do the strong attack. I missed my chance. I get so confused when I'm like behind her because of that fucking. Oh, there we go. What? Yes, cool. Holy crap, dude. I'm out of fire paper. I guess that was the, the pendant that was being held onto. We have a lamp and we've got a glowing object on an altar. My god. The game allowed me this one victory in an episode of much pain and suffering. Woo! Guys. 
I feel like you guys are getting the experience that you wanted from me this whole time is pain and suffering. For the most part. But we achieved victory against Vicar uh, Amelia. My god, let's have a look at this pendant that we just picked up. I thought it would have been with this stuff, but no. Where is it? Old pendant. Use it to gain a blood gem, really? Only use it just to gain a blood gem? Here's the thing. This is the same thing where there was a brooch and it said used to gain, you know, a blood gem and we used it and then we actually needed it. So I think I'm going to hold on to it this time. Uh, used to change it to a blood gem which fortifies weapons. This pendant passed down among the vicars who head the healing church is a reminder of the corsinary adage to reveal the adage touch the altar skull. It's a reminder of it, but to reveal the, the adage touch the altar skull. Interesting, we've got an altar skull. We're going to do that next time, because it is most certainly time to bring this episode to a close. I've been through a lot. They put me through the ringer, I'm covered in blood, I'm tired, and I have died a lot. <laughs> next time, I guess we're touching this skull, and then, who knows, maybe I'll get kidnapped again, we'll get taken back into uh, jail hell, and uh, we might take on this this dark beast uh, with some bolt resistance. We'll just have to see how that goes. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It has, as always, been a pleasure. Thank you for toughing it out with me through constant deaths. It's, it's super hard to remain chipper when the game does put you through uh, some trials and tribulations. Um, but that is just the way of things. Sometimes the game just needs to put you through the ringer so you can achieve victory and it just feels that much sweeter. Uh, but yeah, regardless, guys, I digress. I'm going to see you next time uh, recharged and ready to go for some more Bloodborne. I'll see you then.